General Island, thank you so much for joining me this evening. Give me your assessment on the situation up north. Um, I think that uh, Hezbollah today is under conflicting pressures. There is an internal pressure from the organization itself to retaliate for what is seem to be a violation of Israel. There might be also some uh, pressure from Iran to do something. And on the other hand, it is quite clear that Hezbollah is very concerned and it does not want to drag the both sides to a real full confrontation uh, because of its economic pro problems, because of the uh, internal pressure from the public opinion in Lebanon, etc. And uh, so, but he has to do something. So I think that he would try to take a very, very small action, hopefully something that Israel would be able to contain, and then he would be able to claim that uh, the organization retaliate in a, in a reasonable way, and it might be the end of this existing tension. This is the intent of Hezbollah, and I think that uh, at this moment there is very little that Israel can do. We just have to prevent any, uh, any exposure to any uh, weak points that might attract Hezbollah and might cause two casualties or great damage on the Israeli side. What exactly does Hezbollah vow to retaliate for, the alleged attack in Beirut or the one that took place in the Golan Heights? Now, it is quite clear that uh, although there is an Iranian pressure maybe to do something because of the activities of Israel in Syria, Hezbollah is much more uh, sensitive to what is happening in Lebanon. And when uh, its district, the Dachia, was attacked in a way that they cannot ignore, this is the main reason why I think that he has to do something in order to prevent Israel from attacking sensitive sites of Hezbollah inside Lebanon. This is no doubt the main reason. In the past, Hezbollah knew very clearly that Israel is not interested in war and deterrence worked on both sides of the border. Currently, can Hezbollah understand what exactly Israel wants to do after Hezbollah's retaliation? Uh, I think that there are three things that he would try to limit itself. Uh, first, to do something along the border and not necessarily deep in Israel. Number two, to attack a military target and not a civilian one. And number three is, ironically, maybe not to cause too many casualties on the Israeli side, something that might force Israel to retaliate. They want to do something quite symbolic, uh, but uh, some kind of retaliation. And uh, this is now the game that uh, they are trying to achieve the, or to create the right conditions. It is fully understood by the Israeli side that tries to be as careful as possible today.